curtain up, takes 11 hits Broadway this week by visiting five wildly popular musicals backstage and on stage today. We're swinging by the hit jukebox musical, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, told to a hot disco beat. It's the story of a very colorful guy who drags two of his friends halfway across Australia to meet the son he's never known. But like any real friend, he doesn't tell them what he's up to. The tale has a lot of twists and turns, and believe me, this is one musical that's no drag. It's been called loud, lewd, and lavish. And audiences love it. We're talking Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the hit musical that's settling in for a long run at Broadway's Palace Theater. Title sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember that 1994 Australian smash hit film? You know, the one about two cross-dressers and a transsexual trekking halfway across the outback, sporting some gamey outfits you'll never find at the Gap. The musical version, this is um, the iconic flip-flop dress, takes those costumes literally a step further. Together, Priscilla has also been called gaudy, garish, and of course, Trey Gay. But Will Swenson, who plays one of the principal dragsters in the show, is something of a contradiction. You're a devoted father. You're <laughs> what brings you to the show about a bunch of crazy drag queens? Um, this is a great part. I mean, who wouldn't want to get dressed up in 20 costumes every night? I'm not a drag queen in real life, certainly. But, uh, but I have two sons, and um, so, I mean, it's, it's incredibly easy to, to relate to. And, and uh, got so much love for my kids that that's easy to plug into the show. But there's no contradiction about Tony Sheldon. So Sheldon is the only member of the cast who's committed himself to appearing in every production of the show since the original opened in Sydney in 2006. It really takes a lot of concentration to play Bernadette. Tell me why. Well, um, because she is a very elegant, glamorous lady, and uh, sometimes if you do let your concentration slip for a minute, you suddenly find you're walking like a fellow or your voice is in the wrong pitch. But makeup is only one part of Tony's magical transformation at every performance. Here she is. The lady has arrived. The $15 million Broadway version has more than 500 over-the-top costumes, including a perfect fit for me. Oh, that it? That was yeah. like five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody is left topless in Priscilla. Here are some of the 75 headpieces that have audiences wigging out. Real Divas wear these. And of course... Shoes, anyone? Over 100 pairs of boots, high heels, and clogs to choose from. Hmm, how much are those, Nicks? Oh, they're not for sale. Hi. And now it's nearly showtime, where we're following the three Divas onto the stage of the palace for the opening number, a last zip. And it's time to ascend into diva heaven. At first, it was really super scary, and it wasn't a fun ride, but now it's a fun ride every day. Make it natural. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Hey, man. I'm going to go out. I'm going to let myself get absolutely soaking wet. Oh, I can't help but move to that one. Well, Priscilla's now been seen on five continents. It's still running in London right now. For one lucky viewer, you can experience some magic. Compliments of the folks behind the musical. Just the 11th caller at 866-414-2911, and you can win complimentary tickets. Restrictions do apply for complete rules. Meet us on the web at pix11.com, and good luck, Star Colin.